order? Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Oh. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? Titta bara på honom. Ljuger han? Verkligen, det har aldrig hänt förut. Att någon har ljugit är det inte. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. Ja, det ser ju inte lovande ut. Känns det som. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. <laughs> Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is that this correct? Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the truth. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witness account, okay. I was going door to door selling subscription when I saw a man fleeing in the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment, and I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Huh. Hmm. Verkligen? Är du säker på det? Eller har någon betalat honom för att säga det där? Det är ju frågan. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? <gasps> Can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally. Why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor? I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record added to the court record. Black uh, electricity to Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Noon, noon to 6 p.m. Hmm. On dog ungefär vid klockan 5, klockan 6 då. Now, Mr. Bright. Yes, er, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right, this is it, the real deal. Uh, what exactly am I, am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies, what? He was lying? The client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Ah. Or is your client really 
guilty. Who do you prove he's not? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Ja. Jag tror jag att han inte ljuger. Eller, ja, vi, den som såg på det här hela. Den som vill försvara, han har ju inte ljugit, det tror jag inte. Men hur ska vi kunna veta det då? Hur ska vi kunna säga att... Hmm. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's a bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradictions between the court records and the witness testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record with tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Cross-examination, witness account, okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okej. Okay. Ja, det där låter ju troligt, eller hur? Men hur ska vi kunna veta om man ljuger där eller inte? Okej. Okay. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Mm -hmm. I think it's strange. I looked inside the apartment. And I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. Oh no! Nay! Fun! Yeah. Are you sure she was dead? No, oh, oh, bra. Det var det som jag tänkte på. Well, no. I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all. And there was blood everywhere. I guess that, that would look fatal to anyone. Very well. What happened next? I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Men du använde ju telefonen. I thought... I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. The phone in our apartment wasn't working. Nej, det var inte det som jag ville säga nu. Nu vill jag säga, eftersom han inte vågade gå innanför lägenheten så kan han ju inte använda telefonen. Eller hur? Så han vågade att gå in i, tele vad heter det, i, i lägenheten till slut ju. Ja. Oh, yeah. The phone in our apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't. Right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Bra. Precis. Det var precis det som jag tänkte fråga. Oh, oh, that. I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I went to a nearby park. I found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Ja, oh, vänta nu här lite grann. Hon dog ju. Det där är mycket mer... Hon dog väl klockan 5. 
klockan sex 